By acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land in which we're here today. Sydney Olympic Park is situated on the traditional lands of the one clan, known as the one group. Absolute sporting royalty, Dan Carter. Really cool speakers, uh, Dan Carter, Ned Brockman, uh, Craig Foster, you know, all sharing some, some really, really cool insights and experiences from their journeys. Uh, a lot of key takeaways. You know, I think you know, it's really united the group uh, to come in and, and really listen and you know, take away some really important stuff. Yeah, you're a little bit naive. Um, it's like use, use the development managers that they're here for you. You know, you want to try and be the best player that you can be. Here's a tool to be the best person you can be as well and to, and to help you. It's just really nice to be heard um, and respected in that way and that's um, the message that RLPA are really trying to um, portray in the media and what we're pushing for with the current CBA negotiations. So, so yeah, just that respect factor plays a huge part in our game and um, yeah, just amazing to be a part of a movement that's going to be so powerful for the next generation. This, this growth mindset and this excitement about what more can be done was what was, I guess, led us to the idea of you know the 50 marathons, 50 days, and then of course running across the country. The athletes are the heart of sport. Therefore, the two most important stakeholders, as we see it, are those two: is us. Without players, there is no game. And without fans, there is no profession. Just getting to learn about the other cultures um, amongst our playing groups is, has been an amazing experience and I think that's probably been a highlight for me and you know last night I sat there for a couple of hours and we were talking to Justin Allen and we were just like so much inside about um, PNG stuff I never even knew, never even dreamed about you know knowing so I think it's been a, um, a real highlight of the fact that it's been culturally um, inclusive of everybody and having um, both the males and the females together. I think um, that's probably the most impressive thing, uh, just seeing the commitment from the players um, it's a Friday too, so we know a lot of the, lot of the boys and girls have, have training today. But yeah, just to see them come in today, you know, really wanting to execute this thing and make sure that everyone's on the same page. Um, yeah, really, really shows that united front. This game will always be about people. People. That's what's important.